All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you have seen from the title, as well as from the thumbnail, that this is going to be the Apple Watch SE unboxing. But I'm going to go take a little bit further into detail about why I've gone with the SE instead of the 6. Uh, not in full de in depth, because I'm going to make a separate video for that, because I think it do does deserve a separate video. Here is the Apple Watch SE. Uh, finally, it's here. I'm excited. It did take me a little while, but let's unbox this. And in this video, what you're gonna see is I'm gonna actually unbox this, pair this up with my iPhone 8 Plus, as well as show you the link that I got, the leather link. So at the front, we just have a plain, simple Apple Watch logo. I think on the Series 6, it said Apple Watch Series 6. And let's take a look on the side. So this is the GPS version. There's a huge difference in pricing between the 6 and the SE. So this one retails for $279 for the 40mm. This is actually the 44mm and this one goes for $309 and that's the US pricing. So for my Canadian viewers, it goes for $369 for the 40mm and then $409 for the 44 millimeter and that's if you get the um, that standard silicone case if you want to upgrade which I highly do recommend to the leather link or any of the special cases you do get a little bit of a discount I think it's about $60 that you do get on like the Canadian side let's unbox this so that's pretty much it you have two flaps plastic opening it up and then boom and there you go so it's stacked up like two pieces so you have the actual watch in here okay plain and simple box and then right behind it is this super special leather link i've been searching for this on all the different stores in vancouver and i wasn't able to find it even the stores weren't carrying it so you could try it on i just guessed and i went with the large size i've been having such a huge issue with the sizing of apples you know the silicone case or the braided loop that will be included in the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video because it's gonna be a really important video and it's gonna show you why I've gone with the Apple Watch SE. So if you do buy like a combo like I did, it comes um, in the box, but you can go to the store from what I've been told by from the Apple employees in the store is that you can actually go in the store and buy the watch face separately and do a combo with the silicone wrap or the leather loop, whatever. And But you won't get it in this uh, nice case. You will just get it separately. Same thing goes if you buy, let's say, a combo like I did, and you want to later on exchange it. You can take, within the 14 days or whatever the return period is in your area, you can take it to your local Apple store and they can swap out the band of the one that you bought with something that you like. So you have these two flaps, bring them up and then we're just going to. And here's the first difference from the Series 6 to the SE. You have this simple, um, almost like a wax paper encasing for your watch on the Series 6. You get a hard cardboard wrapping, which it's not that big of a deal. We'll put this to the side. And what else is inside of the box? So you have your basic manuals, uh, USB-A to the Apple Watch wireless charging cable. Now, you might be wondering, what is this? It's actually the USB-C to the Apple Watch charging cable. The reason being because I'm always on my laptop, which is the MacBook Pro. That one only has a USB-C input, and I don't want to use dongles for these type of things. So I bought this, okay? And this is the package it comes in. This one retails for 39 Canadian. I'll leave it down below the link for this product. So there is a little bit of a difference between, you know, the one that comes with this SE model and same thing with the Apple Watch aluminum edition. Anything, I think stainless steel and above, you get this one. So the biggest difference is you can see on the sides, on the left, you have plastic. On the right, you have, you know, the stainless steel. At the back, it's just plain plastic and over here is like a brushed uh, stainless steel. All right, so let's unwrap the Apple Watch SE. So the first thing you'll notice is the actual sensor. It's a little bit different than what's on the Apple Watch Series 6 because the Apple Watch Series 6 actually has a blood oxygen sensor as well as an electrical uh, ECG electrical cardiogram 
and it measures your uh, heart rate electronically. So your heart rate will be a little bit more accurate on the Series 6 is from what I have read. But it could be, I think, a couple beats up and down between the Series 6 and the Apple Watch SE over here. Now, as you can see over here, it says Apple Watch SE 44 millimeters aluminum and ceramic case ion glass. The glass at the front is not actually ceramic glass, similar to what's found on the iPhone. So before we pair this up, let's look at the really special leather link. And I'm kind of curious to see what the lifetime or what the lifespan will be of this band. If you have bought genuine Apple leather bands in the past for the previous Apple Watch series, let me know in the comment section what your experience has been with this product. So to link the leather link to the Apple Watch SE, all you got to do is just come in from the sides and then and just go like this. So once again, coming in from the side, slide it in and you'll hear a little click oh wow that was really quick so here it is let's quickly set up the watch and I'll bring my iPhone over here and boom there it is so I just had to bring my iPhone close to the watch and we can set up the watch next to the iPhone continue I think up for myself so starting the pairing process is really quick really simple all you got to do is just align this to the phone and that's it. So your Apple Watch is paired. So while this is getting the backup from the iCloud, loading it onto my watch, let me know in the comment section what you would like to know about this watch in the review that I'm going to be doing for this particular model. So for my use with the Apple Watch uh, SE, it's going to be different than what other people are using. And for that reason, I'm actually going to be putting a little bit of a... Uh, a screen protector on the watch. I know that's kind of like a big no-no, but this is the brand that I'm going to be using. MP Mall. Um, I've used them for another product and I've had some good experience with them. I'll leave a link for this um, screen protector down below. Create a password. So that's pretty much it for this quick unboxing. First look at the leather link and a restore from my Apple Watch Series 6 backup. Let me know what you think about this unboxing down below in the comment section. Reviews coming for this one. But before I do the review, I'm actually going to be sharing that video where I explain why I have returned my Series 6 for the SE. It's a good video. You should check it out because it might change your decision between the 6 and the SE and even change it from the SE back to the Series 6. So thank you for coming on here and watching this video. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.